Hi, this is Rollo with Winbros, and I'm going to demonstrate how to create Imworth completely within Daz Studio uh, in one minute. Uh, to get our setup, we loaded the Genesis character, and when you do any kind of morphing and you want to set the mesh resolution over in the parameters tab uh, to base, my, that right now you can see the default was high resolution, so we'll change it to base. And for this demonstration, we're going to take the left foot of the Genesis character and we're going to make it a little bit bigger similar to that of the Hobbit so what we're going to do really quick is we'll focus on that before we start and we will begin as soon as the clock reaches the 9 here the second hand reaches the 9 so that you can show that we did this all within one minute and here we go alright we're going to go ahead and scale up the foot to about 150% and yeah, just make it look quite large we're going to go back to select the Genesis character we're going to go to File, Export. We're going to export as a Wavefront object file. We previously used the G left foot file name, so we'll go ahead and use that again and overwrite it. You want to make sure you pick a size that you like. We're going to go use the default to ask studio size. It's important for when you re-import. There it is. It's gone. We're going to start with a new scene here. We'll reload the Genesis character so we can properly demonstrate that the morph was created. Okay, there's the Genesis character loaded. We're going to go to Edit figure and we're going to go to Morph Loader Pro. Again here's that size that we used earlier so you want to keep it the same. We'll go to choose more files here to go find our morph and there it is the G left foot object file. Click accept and should create morph successfully should message you get. If everything went well you can see that we made it in one minute. If we click here on the morphs in the parameters panel, panel excuse me, you'll see that we do have the G left foot pan, uh, morph up here. So let's zoom back in on the foot really quick and let's just see if that morph file was created properly and actually works. So we'll grab it and we'll move it up to 100% and you can see expanded the foot upwards and so we we'll go back to zero. Okay now you can notice that you can go to negative values which are really you can get some special effects that way too but if you want to set the limits and different things for the parameter settings on the morph click this little maintenance cog here go to parameter settings and then there's some options in here. You can change the morph, uh, the tide of the morph, and where it's located. We hope you enjoyed this video. And we just want you to know that if you want to create any complicated morphs for some really cool character stuff, you're probably going to have to use an external modeler. But you can create some simple morphs within DAS Studio without ever leaving the program. Once again, this is Roll at Winter Bros. Have a great day.